let's see how to scan the kidney. First you need to look at the right kidney. Place the probe on the right flank. Subcostal. Here, we scan at the 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock position. Here, please stick your stomach out like this. You order and scan the kidney by swiping outwards or inwards. When you scan your kidneys, this is what a normal kidney looks like. This center, the middle, and the widest part should be scanned. If the kidney is obliquely sectioned, not true long axis VIWI is visualized. So you can see that it is important to scan in the widest direction. So, if you scan, you will see a picture like this. This is the right liver lobe, and the shaded area is renal cortex, and renal sinus, it is being seen. So, you need to know two important things here. For one, renal cortex looks the darkest. Then the liver should be shown in this order. Middle and then renal sinus the brightest. Renal cortex, liver, renal sinus. If the renal cortex looks similar to the liver. Otherwise, if the echo appears brighter than the liver, there is a problem with the kidney, or liver. Here's what you need to know about echo. Another thing is between the liver, and kidneys. What happens right here between the liver, and the kidneys is the hepatorenal space. This is the lowest place where fluid is stored in the abdominal cavity, when we lie down, in the supine position. So, as you can see from the CD here, there's a spine like this, right kidney like this, liver like this. If there is fluid retention in the abdominal cavity, when it is like this, it comes right here to the right area, and the fluid collects. Where exactly does this liquid collect? It can pool right between the liver and the kidneys. Therefore, you can see it even if it is at least 5 cc. We can use ultrasound to skin this area to detect any small amount of fluid between the liver and kidneys. So you know all too well that the place where this little sheep can be stored is in the Morrison's pouch. So you can see where it is anatomically important. You can see that this is the upper pole and this is the lower pole. Let's look at the right kidney first. The right kidney should be done on a longitudinal scan of the right flank. If you put the probe on your right side at 10 o'clock like this, and sweep it out like this, you can see the kidneys. Stick out your belly. If you stick it out and sweep it outside like this, this is what the kidneys look like in an oval shape. Now, when you look at it from here, this is the upper pole and this is the lower pole. So, the outer dark part of the kidney corresponds to the renal cortex, and the inner part is the renal sinus. The important thing is that the size of the kidney is also important. Renal cortex has a slightly more hyperidoic pattern than liver. And it is observed that renal sinus looks very bright compared to renal cortex. Stick out your belly again. It scans like this, and sweeps it out. By scanning like this, the overall appearance of the kidneys can be observed well at once. And what is important here is the position where the anatomical structure can be seen, even if there is any fluid collection in the abdominal cavity, even if only about 5 cc of any liquid is accumulated when lying in such a spine state, it's going to be Morrison's pouch right here, between the liver and the kidneys. Isn't it displayed as a white line now? However, when water is originally stagnant, it will be observed as a cystic pattern. Let's not forget the anatomy of Morrison's pouch, which is now between the right kidney and the liver. Now, let's stick out the lower abdomen again. Now, the right kidney is well observed. You can scan it in this way. 